It's the day after Halloween, and you have got a bunch of Tootsie Rolls. Found in nearly every kid's basket, it's the candy that you can eat one, maybe two of. There's somewhere between taffy and chocolate. They're chocolate flavored taffy candy, maybe? Let's just be honest here. It looks like something the cat did. We had no trouble pawning off M&Ms and Snickers, Smarties and Dum Dums, but really, what kid wants a handful of Tootsie Rolls? Tootsie Rolls' real issue is an aesthetic problem. And honestly, who wants to say their favorite candy looks like a piece of poop? So we have a total of 65 of the long Tootsie Rolls, which I think is a good place to start. I also have a handful of these short Tootsie Rolls and these Tootsie Turds. It's just doubling down on the Tootsie Roll aesthetic here. The plan was actually pretty simple. I was just going to see if I could warm these up a little bit in the toaster oven. It's probably close to 40 or so Tootsie Rolls. Let's put our little Tootsies in the oven. In you go. All right, my toaster oven is around 200 degrees. Tootsie Rolls have been in my toaster oven for about two minutes. definitely appear to be softening. I'm gonna leave them in there a little bit longer. We're close to five minutes here. Let's see how we did. So they definitely appear soft. They appear to be quite malleable and soft, so I'm going to try to mold them into a single Tootsie. Some weird sushi chef right here. Yeah, that doesn't look any more like poo than it did before. That's, <laughs> that's fine. I'm just gonna put them all on there. And back into the oven. For another, I don't know, three, four minutes. It's definitely warm. It's actually kind of fun to play with, if I'm honest. So that's about five minutes in a 200 degree oven. It melts down into a pretty sizable glob. And I gotta tell you, considering what it looks like, it actually smells really nice. Ooh. Is I'm gonna get the other parts. So these are the other Tootsie Rolls. These are the, the weird Tootsie Logs you can get. I had a handful of those and then these tiny Tootsie Rolls. I unwrappered all of those while this was heating up. I like the way it thuds. These might take a little longer just because of the size of them. I'm going to smash them into the big Tootsie blob here. 
see if I can get it to melt down some of these. It's so gross. It's like a giant Tootsie monster at this point. All right, so all those small Tootsies are incorporated into the giant Tootsie blob now. I'm gonna put the Tootsie blob back in and we're gonna try to get it a little bit more malleable than this. Looks pretty malleable at this point. Okay. All right, I've smashed it down as best I can. Surprisingly resilient stuff. All right, look at that. <laughs> oh, wild. I made a Tootsie Bolt. <laughs> you did, did you pour it in there? No, no, I just smashed it. <laughs> I just put it in there, and then I just smashed it down, and I'm, it rose up on the sides. I'm actually surprised that worked. Again, so proud. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta wait for this to harden. This is almost as good looking as your rose. <laughs> So far, so good. Um, I'm pretty sure we've got a Tootsie Bowl. <laughs> yep, we did it. It's a Tootsie Bowl. Um, 883 grams of Tootsie Roll. It's a lot of Tootsie Rolls. What exactly am I supposed to do with a Tootsie Bowl? Obviously. It is the perfect cereal bowl. And if for some reason, you do get a Tootsie Roll craving. Take a bite right out of the side. Finally, a use for Tootsie Rolls. And for those of you who love Tootsie Rolls, what better use for your favorite candy than a Tootsie Bowl? And it might be my first food safe bowl. Did we just make our first food safe bowl? I think we did. Catch you guys later.